In this video, I will show you how to print a multiplication table of the given number using loops. First, I will show you the logic part. So generally, a multiplication table looks like this. Suppose if it is a fifth table, so 5 into 1 results 5, 5 into 2 result 10, 5 into 3 result 15, 5 into 4 and so on. In this, I will highlight few things. When we are uh, implementing the program for generating the table, then if you observe in this multiplication, the left operand is always fixed because we are generating the table for the 5. The right operand of the multiplication, here it is started from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. For example, if we assume this left operand as A, in this example, value of A is 5. If you are assumed that the right operand of the multiplication is B, the value of B is ranges from 1, 2, 3, up to some number. So starting is 1, ending is that is given by the user. User will give you some value. I want to print the table for up to 20 rows or 30 rows. How many rows? They want to print based on that that number will be decided so what is this number n in this case the last one is 6 so in this case n is 6 so we need three variables we need to collect three variables from the user one is we need to collect the what is the value of the a a is nothing but which table we want to print what is the value of b how many rows we need to print that no First, we need to include the required library files. So, open new source file. Standard input output header file. Then, begin the main function. Then, first we need to collect the input values. So, which table we want to print that is A. And we are ranging the table from 1 to up to some number. So, we, are, uh, we need to iterate a particular loop. So I am going to take another variable i which is ranges from 1 to up to n. So n value also I need to cut. cut. So we need to provide a message to the user to enter the a value. Enter a value. So what is a here? Which table we are going to print that number. So we need to collect that information as it is an integer. Format specifier is percent ID, comma, ampersand, variable name is A. Then we will ask you to print, uh, yeah, we will ask the user to enter the N value. Enter N value. How many records we are going to print? So N value is stored in variable N. So ampersand n. After this, we need to iterate the loop because 5 into 1, 5 into 2, 5 into 3, 5 into 4, 5 into 5, 5 into 6. If you observe, the multiplication starts from 1, 2, 3, and so how can we jump the values with the help of a loop? So we already declared a variable called i, it ranges from 1. And it uh, condition is up to n because the n value just now we collected from the user. And each time, initially it is 1, then in the next iteration it becomes 2. In next iteration it becomes 3, 4 means immediately we are applying increment operation on the input variable i. Now, here our target is to print the output to the end user. So how we are going to print? We are going to display in the table, table form like 5 multiplication symbol 1 is equal to result of that. That means I want to print one particular number here and percentile D and that results again an integer. That results again an integer. So all these are decoration part just I am maintaining the spaces for the better looking. Now, so what is my first percentile D is representing? That is my table number. So which table I want to print that is A. What is my percentile D? 
my personal entity is represents i because i value initially one next case it is two in next case it is three up to n number of iterations it spends then what about the loss percentage that is the result of a star b so a star i a star i so this is the logic we want to print the product product of a into i initially suppose for example if we entered a value 5 here and if we entered n value 10 here then it generates a fifth table beginning from 1 to up to 10 5 ones are 5 2 5 3 5 4 5 5 up to 5 into 10 so in this case a is always 5 in this loop after entering in this loop first iteration i value is 1 but a value is always 5 so initially in the first iteration this results 5 star 1 5 star 1 this results in next iteration 5 star 2 in next iteration 5 star 3 in next iteration 5 star 4 so like that it will print the product value of 5 into that particular iteration number so that is the advantage of this now I will save this program so compile this program for checking the syntax errors and also no errors and run this program suppose if I want to print the fifth table suppose 5 you can see 5 into 1 5 5 into 2 10 but if you observe all the output lines are printed in the single line why because I forget to give the slash n here so after printing each output line immediately we are need to apply new line now again once we made any changes immediately we have to save it and compile give the input values we are collecting two input values from the user one is a another one is n a value is 5 n value is 12 so it looks like this so 5 into 1 5 into 2 5 into 3 and so on so for if i given some other table number then that table will be printed so for if i want to print seventh table up to 12 records so 7 into 1 so you can also check the output 7 nines are 7 7 is a 7 5 is a 5. So, like this, we can generate multiplication table by using a simple for loop. So, only thing is first which table we want to print. Table number we have to give that is called A in our case. How many records we need to print that is N. Using a loop control variable i, we started our loop iteration starting from 1 up to N and each time it is incremented by 1. And for our uh, display purpose, we designed our table like this. We are maintaining spaces after percent %d, percent %d equal also. So when you are generating the output, these spaces will get affected while printing the output. So like this, we can print the multiplication table.